Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the Dionese Avro 5 leather jacket. So this is the newest version of the Avro. Really what we're gonna see here is a couple of changes to style and an integration of a lot more stretch versus the previous version. Even as we talk about the integration of stretch, it is important to note this is a pretty aggressive fit. I got Pat McHugh on my left-hand side who is wearing this in a size 56, correlates perfectly with the size chart, but you can see it's a pretty aggressive fit, especially when you have the full sleeve thermal liner in. Now we're gonna get into the fit in just a second from a measurement standpoint. Keep in mind, if you're looking at this jacket, this is the non-perforated version. So considering this also has the thermal liner, we're gonna call this two to three season cool weather. Something you can wear in the spring, into the fall. You can stretch it into the summer, um, probably not into the full heat of the summer, and you can stretch it a little bit in the winter, um, probably not the full cold of the winter, depending on where you're riding. So just keep that in mind. Now, if we're looking at this, against other jackets in Dionese's line. This one is coming in around the $750 price point, which is roughly a $70 increase over the previous Avro 4. If you wanna take a step up from this, you'd be looking at something like the Super Speed 4. That's gonna get you the D-skin leather, that's gonna get you the pucks on the elbows as well as the shoulders, and it's also gonna get you an option for perforation. So just keep that in mind. That's where you'd be stepping up to something like the Super Speed 4 and that's what you get for the increase in price there. But again, for around the $750 price point, the Avro 5 is going to give you that race aggression button something that's probably not full on race oriented. So McHugh, like I said, he stands at six feet tall, has a 44 inch chest, weighs in at around 220 pounds, and you can see it fits him exactly as Dionese intended. What I would say is that the jacket is definitely a little more comfortable for Pat if he's not using that full sleeve thermal liner. So size the jacket for exactly how you want it to fit for the way you're gonna wear it most of the time. Pat, probably not gonna wear that full sleeve thermal liner the most of the time. You might slip it in um, a little bit if the weather drops below a certain temperature, but realistically, he's gonna wear this jacket the majority of the time without that full sleeve thermal. It is a destination liner. Sizes will range from 44 up to 64. Three different colors available, and like I said, if you're using the size chart, you shouldn't have any surprises. So the leather on this, it's a full cowhide leather. This is Dionese's tutu leather. It's a step below their D-skin leather. It's more of a premium option of leather in their lineup, and then the D-skin is their top of the line. That's what we're talking about. We're jumping up to the Speed 4 is gonna get you the most premium option for leather. Let's start with the top, and we're gonna work our way through. So the collar on this is new. You're gonna see it's a reduced Mandarin collar. I like this because you're not gonna have anything pushing up against your Adam's apple. You're in more of that full tuck position. They're going for comfort there. They've even lowered the little Velcro closure so it's a little bit further down. Um, again, really aiming at comfort and opening up the main space for the front of the collar. Working our way down, you're gonna see the stretch starting all the way at the collarbone, coming all the way down inside the arm. Dionese, aluminum sliders over top of CE level one composite armor. So the armor that's in the elbows and the shoulders on this is gonna be the old CE one composite armor. Um, this is a nitpick at this point in time in 2024 for a jacket that's coming in around the $750 price point. Would love to see the armor updated in this from Dionese. They have much more sophisticated armors and we would love to see that integrated into this particular option. Composite armor in the elbows, in the shoulders. The one thing to note here, is with the elbow armor, it does come down all the way into the forearm, so great coverage on the armor. And again, the Dionese logo, double stitched with leather accents all the way down. Love the fact that we're still getting this. I know for a while, brands were going away from actually having their logo stitched into the leather. They were trying to save weight. They were going to all kinds of graphic screen prints. I like the fact that we're back to some of the really nicely done logos in the extra leather on top. It has a classic look to it. You can see the Dionese working down both sides of the arm. Snap closure on this with zip entry. If we just take a peek inside, you can see that full sleeve thermal is just kind of poking out there at the bottom. And then just a single snap closure. So the only other nitpick here is no real adjustment at the cuff. You only get one snap, depending on how big or small your wrists are. That might, that might cause some problems for different people, especially if you're wearing this with full sleeve gauntlet gloves, you want those gloves to go over top of the jacket. Coming down the front, you've got the Demon Head logo, again, done in a supplemented leather. All the way down, that stretch panel is gonna work through the inside, dual hand warmer pockets. The one note here, and McHugh, go ahead and face sideways, straight to the riding position for me, is you have this sublimated material. Would have been nice to see a little bit more stretch working down the side. Would have probably helped to add a little bit more comfort. So you do have that little panel of stretch 
but would have nice to see maybe more stretch where you have this sublimated graphic done on the side. The only vents you're gonna see on the jacket are actually on the side here. So again, this is the non-perforated option. We're not seeing a perforated option just yet. The only ventilation you're gonna get here is just this little side vent, and then that's gonna be right atop of the Velcro adjuster. So if you wanna adjust anything down to the waist, you have one Velcro adjuster down to the waist. You can start, if you look underneath Mr. McHugh's arm, you can start to see that accordion stretch working around from the back panel as it drops down for a nice full range of motion. If you're in more of a tuck position, go ahead and face backwards for me. So again, that's where you are working on the, the, uh, the elastication there, micro elastication at the back of the back. At the very top here, you're gonna see the material that they're using is coming directly from their, their, uh, their race suit technology here. So again, it's just a little bit more comfortable range of motion. If you are in that full tuck, you're not gonna have this pushing up against. You're not seeing a speed hump or anything like that. Again, really designed for aggressive street use with this particular piece. There is a pocket for a back protector. No back protector is included. So you wanna make sure you add that in. Pops are reflective down the back. Again, the Dionese logo done in leather with the drop seat. Sir, you can go ahead and face forward for me on snap, on zip. As we take a look at the inside, you're gonna see the full sleeve thermal liner that we're talking about. That is a destination liner. So we did get a shot of Pat wearing just the liner. When you get to where you're going, you can use that as a standalone piece. You are getting extra pockets. You are getting pockets for chest protectors. And then in the very back here, there is gonna be a connection zipper if you wanna match this up with a pair of Dionese leather pants. Sir, you can go ahead and zip up for me. So for those of you out there looking for a leather jacket from Dionese, you like the idea of maybe riding a little bit more in cooler weather, this is gonna be an option for you to consider. Again, coming in at that $750 price point, it would have been nice to see the fact that this would bump up to maybe like a CE level two armor from an impact protection standpoint. We are seeing the abrasion resistance on this is now CE double A rated, which is new. We love to see that. But again, I think my probably my biggest nitpick is for the price. We'd love to see some more sophisticated armor with this particular piece. So for those of you out there that are not quite sure, you can always click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. That will take you over to the landing page where you can read other rider reviews and you can read all the specs on this jacket. And if you're really kind of confused as to what options are right for you and your riding style within Dionese's line, you can always reach out to our customer service reps. They're happy to walk you through all the different options available. We know that there's a lot of different choices out there to help you find the right leather jacket for your budget as well as for your riding style. Or maybe you don't want a leather jacket. Maybe you're watching this video just because you like the way that Pat McHugh looks in it, and that's okay too. But we do want to say thank you for joining us for this look at the Dionese Avro 5 leather jacket. This is Pat. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride. Stop stealing my finger guns.